anniversary of Blank Fest Wisconsin, a concert, a benefit, and a great time happening right here in Racine. And here to tell us more about it is Ron Perti and JJ McAuliffe. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Thanks for coming back on the show again this year. My pleasure. Thank you. We're so excited to remind everyone about Blank Fest Wisconsin, which again we mentioned it's the tenth year of this event. Um, Ron, I'll kind of have you start a little bit by telling me what is Blank Fest and how did it all get started? It started in Nyack, New York. Um, over 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's still going strong there. There's a bunch of different satellite shows. There used to be one in Toronto, Florida, you know, because they really need blankets in Florida in the winter. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, it just kind of spread. There was one in England for a while. Um, and I know, here, I'm just going to see if I can do this. The guy who started it, the bass player in his band moved to Racine. I met him and it kind of just steamrolled from there and it just kind of became what it is now. So I put it together in, I think, what, two months, the first one, something like something that? Something like, yeah, it was yeah. spur of the moment. Yeah, and then it just kind of blossomed into this big, huge. And JJ, your bar is the venue for this. Yes. And um, tell us a little bit about, it's, it's a concert, it's um, a benefit. You want people to bring in certain donations and cash donations as well. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, the, like we figured it's a great way to um, provide entertainment for people doing a good thing sure. so to get in you bring in a blanket but it started out with blankets and mm -hmm. then over the years we were getting a, a lot of blankets to the point where we were able to go to different different originally when we started it was for the veterans mm -hmm. and it got to the point where there were so many blankets we were able to take it to other shelters well then we started to say hey let's this is doing well let's do other things let's do toiletries let's do you know feminine hygiene products let's do soaps anything you could think of uh, coffees sugar and creamers for the yeah. for the shelters mm -hmm. anything that these these shelters could use and you come in and you bring the stuff and in return you get a free concert you get a concert if you don't bring something at the door we it's a ten dollar cover and then we take that ten dollars and we'll go it to uh, different um, you know dollar stores or family value or whatever, mm -hmm. and we'll buy supplies ourselves and then we deliver it to the different shelters. So hugely beneficial. And this is happening over two days, December 9th and 10th this year, correct? Mm -hmm. And um, we've talked a lot about the benefits for those who um, are you know, receiving these donations, but for you as someone attending this, there's also a benefit, huge concert. You know, it's, it's going to be a great time. Ron, tell me a little bit about, um, I think we even have some uh, video of some of the performers that are going to be uh, performing. Well, there's a lot of blankets right there's there. There's a lot of blankets. That was got a couple pictures of that. four or five. Oh, there I was. You know, <laughs> there you that's are. A, that's the last known photo of the man that I well, ate before and that, I lost and that, the weight. Honestly, that was another cool thing is people bring in sleeping bags. Yes. Uh, oh, that's cool. also, also a, a, a welcomed, welcomed thing. That's uh, well-known strangers who are going to be performing on Friday. Yeah. And then um, that's uh, Sovereign Olson who's also going to be performing on Friday. She's opening the whole thing. Okay. No, no cool. pressure. No, no pressure, pressure at, all. at all on her. Tried to get her to come today, but she yeah. couldn't yeah, make it. Yeah, and that's uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Preachers. They're also going to be playing, are playing second on Friday. Second on Friday. All right, mm -hmm. that's the uh, tape vendors. They're playing, are opening up on Saturday. And then Shameless Place is going to be, this is their first time playing together in six years. Wow. And their last time they played was actually a blank fest. So um, they're coming back to do this. And also they told me to let everybody know that they, they are going to be recording the show live and they're going to be putting it up online as well as their back catalog. Any money that's made from the sale of the songs is going to be donated to Halo. So wow. it's all proceeds. There's no like, it's not going to be a portion. No, it's, it's all of it, so. All the proceeds, yep. wow. So, you know, in the 10 years that you guys have been doing this, could you even put a number on how many blankets you've collected or how many lives you might have touched with this? <laughs> Well, a lot. <laughs> and th th this is one of the things that I feel bad about is because, you know, we do this because for the community sure. and we don't really, I mean, we write the numbers down and then we forget. I, Ron and I have had this conversation like, hey, how, you know, we should probably track every single yeah, thing, but it gets so ridiculous. Like last year we had something like 400 blankets, mm -hmm. but when it came to actual items, clothing and mm -hmm. toiletries, we, we went through like probably 12 giant 55 gallon bags. Yeah. Um, we were able to have boxes of, uh, there's a dentist in Racine, uh, Dr. Kemper, who donates cases of, of toothpaste. And so wow. we were able to like break that up and give it to the different shelters. It, it gets to the point where there's so many little tinier things that it's hard to inventory. But if, if in 10 years you want to say how many blankets, uh, you figure an average 400. Yeah. So wow. 
you know, 400 times 10. Yeah. 4,000, well, right? Yeah. yeah. Our first year, I think there was maybe 250. Yeah. I'd like to hit 600 but. this year. Fingers That's crossed. First oh. goal. Yeah. What about the... Oh, yeah. If <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'm saying this on TV, so it's going to happen. If we hit 600 blankets, that's not including the toiletries, that's so I'm just blankets, I will get something tattooed on me to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Blank Fest. Not like, it's, <laughs> not like I don't have tattoos already, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so scared of needles. No, I'm, but I figure it's. Uh, hey, but that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be okay. more of the reason. And I do want to touch on one thing real quickly, too, here. JJ, we have a picture of you dressed up as Santa because you had an experience when you were uh, giving some of these items out that I'd like you to talk a little bit about. Well, we hand deliver all the, uh, all the items to the shelters, mm -hmm. and we usually do it the very next day. And one of the shelters that, that I go to, I'm going to do this again, sorry, <laughs> is the Women's Resource Center. Mm. And I'm a big guy, six foot six, 340, 50 some pounds. I'm showing up to the, the Women's Resource Center, which is a, a shelter for abused women, with, the, with these things. And so, you, so you're automatically a little apprehensive and you have to like get the trust. But then when you see these little kids come out and, and and they see you come in and, and you just, you see these little kids in the shelter. Sure. It breaks your heart. And so we took some of that money and we raised a few more at the pub and I went out and bought toys and, sorry, right. dressed up and went back to the shelter dressed as Santa. Mm -hmm. And those same kids didn't know it was me, it was just yeah. here's Santa. And we gave out, we gave out to the kids. Sure. So that's one of the things that Blank Fest has done for me. It's made me a better person. I'm so glad that Ron started this all these years ago because it goes even further than just Blank Fest. It's made me a better person. And, you know, those little kids, I tell you what, it, even though they're in such a terrible situation, the smiles on their faces that day, I was a millionaire that day. And the lives that you touched there, I mean, I'm sure it's. You know, you can't, you can't put a price tag on that at all. And you are able to help out, help them donate more toys, more blankets, more uh, resources to people in need, December 9th and 10th at McAuliffe's. Tell them where it is. 3700 Meacham Road in Racine. I don't know the, the zip code. I-3403. <laughs> yeah. And we're, okay. we're taking donations starting what now? Yeah. You can, if you can't make the actual festival, you can, we'll, we'll start taking them right now as soon as you see this and we'll also take them afterwards mm -hmm. so and, and i've also said throughout the years that i try to encourage people like if they have closets full of of, of anything that they're like well i want to donate it mm -hmm. a lot of people are afraid to go to shelters so i try to encourage them to do it but if they don't want to you can drop anything off at mccullough's pub year round and i'll take it to the shelters for you awesome guys thanks again so much for being here today we appreciate it all right, and stay with us because up next, details on a way many were able to shop local this Christmas and also give back to the community.